episode of Jay Lono's Garage. No, that was not a nuclear explosion. We're just being stupid. Those are just orange tinted windows. All right. You know, we've been doing more and more off-road stuff here at uh, Jay Lono's Garage. And <laughs> I have a lot of fun. <laughs> it doesn't get more bizarre off-road than this. I'm not quite sure what this is. If you went to SEMA this year, you know this caused a huge... Uh, oh, God, people just around this car all day long. They just couldn't believe... Well, it's not even a car. It's a Jeep, actually, is what it is. But we'll find out more about it. Let's meet uh, the owner of the car, Greg Higgs from Fab Fours. They built it. They designed it. Greg, how you doing? Good. Thanks for having Good me, Good to see you. Yeah, I mean, at SEMA this year, you couldn't even get near this thing because people were just crowded around it. What do we have here is how... I mean, it, is it basically a stock Jeep? You've just modified a little bit or totally radical? What have you done? Well, the primary thing was the look of it. Yeah. Having some crazy proportions. We wanted it low, wide, huge tires. So the real goal on the first chicken scratch was hide behind a stock Jeep, but right. be on 50s. So okay. to pull that off, had the most obvious, a four inch chop. Okay. Which is not easy on a modern vehicle. There's okay, so, so you took four inches out of the windshield. Now why, uh, why orange? I mean, that's, it's, it's, I, I did, <laughs> that's well, why we, it's not orange, it's red. Oh, is that it, red? It's kind of orange-esque in your it, light well, here. Well, this but, car's orangey, because well, when I was driving it, I did feel like we were going through some radiation <laughs> field. You look outside. You do yeah. kind of feel like a vampire when you're driving around Yeah, in there. I mean, it's, it's, it's a weird sensation. Why did you go, I mean, it, it looks good, but is it? Well, it's How, just to be over the top. Yeah, I mean, well, all that really says yeah. is pull me over, yeah. the cops. Yeah, which, I mean, the cops just... And the windows don't go down, right? They do not. They don't go down. So now the cops... Can you roll down the window, please? <laughs> roll down the window! I mean, I, I mean, it seems like you're going to get killed. Well, it helps with the whole story when you have to yeah. open the door to talk yeah. to them. And yeah. Most of the time, they just want a picture with it anyways. Well, it is pretty wild. I mean, how is it to drive with these big tires? I mean, is it... I, it's not as bad as you'd think. Yeah. I mean, for all the Jeep guys out there, they mm -hmm. all ride pretty bad once you lift them anyways. Right. So considering this is on 50-inch tractor tires, okay. has full hydraulic steering, it's not bad. Because one of the novelties to it is I wanted to run factory coils. Mm -hmm. So when you look at this crazy over-the-top Jeep, to know that it's got the factory suspension under it is pretty amusing. And what is, is the engine stock? Have you modified the motor? Completely stock. So okay. keeping it all reliable for right now. Six or eight? Six. Oh, it's the six. Okay. Yep. And it doesn't have any problem with these big tires. Geared no. it right, 538s, right. and so it, it gets down the road just fine. It's actually in green RPMs, and you can do 70 miles an hour in it. Okay. Stock gearing, or you change the gear. Change the gears. Okay. Two 538s. Oh, okay. 538s. Wow. Okay. And it's an it's an automatic, obviously. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. It also has no muffler, so despite having no modifications to power, it is pretty obnoxiously yeah. loud. Yeah, Didn't so, fit. oh yeah, the, your neighbor's just going to love you for this thing, yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about scraping anything when you pull in the gas stations. You're high enough off the ground, that's for sure. Now, what else is different? Uh, tell me about this color. Is that a stock color? What is that? It looks like Well, a it's actually a brush stainless wrap. Oh, okay. So, to try to pull off this look, uh, to the untrained eye, it does just look like we brushed it all down yeah. to bare steel and then clear coated it which would be pretty awesome, but an epic uh, yeah, endeavor. Yeah, yeah. So wrapping it was the best way to go. Oh, and so that's a wrap. I mean, that's, boy, that's pretty good. It looks oh, yeah. Oh, these guys are top notch. And Had what our... color was it originally? I'm just curious. Started black. Started black. Okay, yeah. so you put it's the wrap Good color on. to start for wraps. Okay. Are these wraps pretty durable? Do they last a long time? Are you, you to be know? honest, I haven't really had one of these off-road much. You know? yeah. So there's a lot of naysayers out there. We're actually building a second legend just to go romp at Moab. Yeah. This one still has to keep its beauty face on for a couple more months while it makes the show circuit, yeah. but we'll take it out there. I so with a wrap, you don't polish this, you just wash it off? Just wash it like normal. Oh, uh, okay. I All guess right. if it has one advantage is if you really damage one, you could just redo that section. Yeah, you just put more, just yeah, okay, okay. So obviously it's cut to fit this. You don't buy a wrap for the Jeep. Right, okay. it's all custom done. Okay. All right. What does a wrap cost to do? Is it is it, is it a full vehicle? You're about thirty five. So to it's 5, cheaper 000. than a paint job. Yep. Yeah. Cause and can get very crazy. I mean, when I was a kid, you go to Earl Shive and you get a paint job for like nineteen ninety five. You know, just kind of deal. I mean, now uh, paint with EPA and everything, a good paint job's what seventy five hundred bucks. Well, right. and it's becoming yeah. even more of a lost art since wraps became more popular. Yeah, So yeah. if you want to find a guy that can do a good custom build paint job, it's right. harder than it used to be. Okay. And what does that logo mean exactly? Tell me what that so is. So Fab Fours, the opposing Fs, 
our real business is manufacturing bumpers for trucks and Jeeps. Okay. So the real only products you see on this right now that you could purchase are these rock sliders. Right. It's purpose to protect under the doors for impact. But things like the front of this, we're dubbing the Grumper, a grill bumper combination. A Grumper? A Grumper. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That'll find its way out there to the public pretty okay. soon. Now, are you making your own tires? They say Fab Four on the tire. I wish I could say yes. Yeah. Uh, tires are on my bucket list, but for right now, we cheated. We used a company called Treadwear and just had our logos put on. So we de oh, okay. off the original. Oh, and very cool. It's like cool. a glorified patch. Okay. And obviously, these fenders, you know. This is the love or hate piece of the legend. No matter what, when you walk up on it, you've got to take a picture. But then the purists think that the fenders are too big. Okay. Hard to disagree. They are out there. But that was its intent, to catch attention. Now, is this your own wheel? That is by American Force. Okay. So we just did the custom coloring. I Their faceplate series, you can put the different inserts in to really customize the colors. And that's a 50-inch wheel? Is that what it is? 50-inch tire, 24-inch wheel. Okay. But what's crazy about that, the proportions of it, normally a 24 inch wheel, that's out there. You know, it's hard to even get bigger than that. Yeah. But they look enormous on a truck. But on a 50, you get the right proportions. It's almost like an old 35 on a 17. Yeah, it certainly catches your eye. Let's, let's talk about the interior. Is the interior totally stock? More or less, you know, we yeah. wrapped all the leathers in it. Okay. The only thing it's got different now, as you'll see when we're out there romping around, is the mini steering wheel. So, long story short, I actually blew the airbag during testing of it originally. Right. So, instead of replacing, it just went to a Just smaller went to wheel. a smaller wheel. All right. Now, you mentioned you're using the stock coils. Yep. But you modified the suspension. That's about where it stops. So, one of the things that allows us to fit this big a tire with no lift, in addition to chopping away fender, is to extend the wheelbase. So, nope. we went about 10 inches rearward and almost a foot forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, of course, with a smaller wheel, this would be... Okay. Right, because you can see where the factory fender well would have been, and this is well oh, back. Okay, yeah, you know, I didn't catch that right away. Okay, very good. And we'll get a peek in at the front control arms. It's pretty cool, kind of like an old radius arm. Yeah. That is fully fabricated by our team back at Fab Fours, and it actually lands the factory coil and shock on the radius arm, which is how we pulled that off. All right, now, those are not the stock Jeep taillights, correct? Once we integrated the full corners, that's all fabricated steel, wanted to get away from the big bulky lights. So we went to the off-road only LEDs. Okay. Gives it a cool look. You hit the brake lights, let's see what it looks like. Oh, there you go, okay. Yeah. Now is this another one of your, what are you, grumpers back here? Well, no, since we're back here, I have to admit, you know, being a bumper manufacturer, this is not our finest work. We caught a lot of flack at the SEMA show for this. Why, what's wrong Bottom with Bottom line, we ran out of time. So yeah. when we were in the process of building the legend, yeah. all of our existing rear bumpers, off the door tire carriers, et cetera, would not fit with this because of the wheelbase. Having a tire all the way back here, while it's awesome, you know, we're looking at about a one degree departure angle. Right. It's a problem for fitting a bumper. So we just hacked together a little bit of square tube okay. and called it good. And this opens. It's okay. normal back. Yeah, yeah. But all functional still. You can yeah. Still, uh, you know, keep in mind, all this had to be chopped. Right. Which is pretty crazy. Each piece of it with custom inserts, all the glass had to be chopped. Right. Well, you can run with this open and you can get some normal daylight in this car. <laughs> it's true. Leave that open. It must be weird at night with these, with the red Impossible. windows. Impossible. It's like <laughs> driving with your darkest sunglasses at wow. night. It's very okay. dangerous. Wow. Okay. So you're gonna do street versions of these, hopefully not with the red windows, right? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to get away from the window tint. That's part of what takes it over the top. I'm amazed at how good this, this wrap is. Yep, a piece. I mean, look how it goes over the weld seams. Yeah, I mean, I crazy. just assumed it was a, a brushed finish of some kind. That's amazing. And from here, you can also get a, a sense for the ground clearance. Yep. You know, being that the suspension is all compressed. In fact, it doesn't even have a lot of articulation. All right. The intent was its huge proportions would overcome that. Being so wide, so long, with such big tires, it can actually crawl over things a normal Jeep would tip over on, right. even though it has three inch limiting straps. But having a 50 inch tire, all that gets you ground clearance. Can we take it for a ride? Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a little bouncy. It takes a little time. There's certain harmonic speeds that it works. Yeah, yeah. Now, once you're up at kind of like 50, it's just gliding all the high spots of the tires. Now you got a center of the wheel here. Look. Well, that always moves. Oh, it does? 
I'm telling you, it's a prototype. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Everything looks like it's been doused with radiation because of the red uh, windscreen. But it's nice you don't have to wear any sunglasses. No, it's a sunny yeah. day. Sure, yeah. As the cop ever comes out, I roll down the window. I can't! Roll down the window! <laughs> open the door yeah, on yeah, him. Yeah. Actually, the stock engine moves along pretty good. Not bad. Oh, it goes along pretty good, yeah. And plus, if I did do a V8, next time we're at a stoplight, try power braking. If you hold the brake and give it a little gas, oh, yeah. due to being the radius arm suspension, yeah. it'll actually stand up to the limiting straps. Just a little gas. <laughs> yeah, so you can act like you got all 500 horsepower under the hood. And technically, if it did have 500 horsepower, as soon as you hit that gas, we'll stand it up. And You know that's fun. <laughs> so the engine, transmission, drivetrain, everything is bone stock, right? So you're not sacrificing any reliability, correct? That was the point. You know, yeah. Getting looks, you want the AC blowing cold, heater yeah. working. And right, yeah. Well, you want the AC and the heater working because your windows don't roll down. <laughs> True. And that's so much easier than just rolling down a window. <laughs> drive throughs Oh yeah, what do you do there? <laughs> yeah, pop the door. Yeah, going through in and out burger's got to be a killer in this. Thanks, Jay. See you guys next week. <laughs>